Valley Championship Wrestling is on the air. My name's Dean Hill. It's uh, my privilege to be your host for the show. Uh, we'd like to thank our great uh, friends at WDRB-TV Fox 41 for giving us an opportunity to bring our show into your home. We'd also like to thank these great fans here in the Ohio Valley. They've been uh, supporting us here in Jeffersonville, Indiana since uh, March of 1993, and we appreciate them a great deal. You know, fans, we all realize it's uh, since the demise of the USWA that we've all been searching for the kind of uh, professional wrestling that we used to enjoy, the Fargos and the Greens. Sam Bass and Jimmy Hart, Tojo and Jerry Jarrett, uh, The King, The Superstar, Gilbert's Marlins, Fabs, The Nightmares, Ken Wayne and Danny Davis. Those were great days and the list goes on for a long time. You know, when I became the uh, ring announcer at uh, Louisville Gardens in 1988, I watched the torch being passed on to the next generation. Jeff Jarrett, Hot Stuff Eddie Gilbert and the Dangerous One Doug Gilbert, Too Sexy Brian Christopher, Jim Cornette, Scott Steiner, The Undertaker, all these guys either started out in the USWA or passed through us on their rise to the top. And the thing that we used to enjoy the most there was the family atmosphere that we had, the, the parents and the kids, the grandparents, all enjoying a great night of professional wrestling in a good, clean atmosphere. Well, I'm glad, I'm very glad to announce that the Ohio Valley Wrestling Association is bringing that back to our community. You will see no extreme violence here. You will hear no obscene language. This is going to be the kind of professional wrestling, ladies and gentlemen, that you grew up with. You have my personal guarantee. we got a lot of great tag teams here in the Ohio Valley. We've also, I should say, I have also been told by Hustler Rip Rogers that I need to make sure I say that he is, in fact, the Ohio Valley heavyweight champion right now. We've also got one last thing that I consider to be one of our biggest assets here in the Ohio Valley, and that is we have the prettiest ring announcer in professional wrestling. Faye Davis, take it away. This match is one fall with a 10-minute time limit. Introducing first, from parts unknown, the Master of Terror. And his opponent, escorted to the ring by Flash Flanagan from Louisville, Kentucky, the All-American, Doug Basham. All-American Doug Basham out here in the ring with his uh, tag team partner and the other half of the tag team champions, I might add, Flash Flanagan. Uh, Doug and Flash have uh, taken the tag team belts here just recently. We're underway, referee Joe Wheeler. Remember, uh, I'm sure you remember Joe from all of our years down at, uh, with the USWA. All-American Doug Basham going in against uh, the Master of Terror. Coming in here from parts unknown. All-American, we're very pleased to see back here in the Ohio Valley. He's been back for a couple of months. He, uh, he had a lower back injury, uh, oh, about eight months, uh, ten months ago. And he was off for quite a while. He's uh, rehabbed his way. Look at that. Look at that maneuver. He's rehabbed his way back, and uh, we're very, very pleased to see. Look at this. Oh, wow, man, what an arm drag takedown. Use the inertia coming off the second rope, falling backwards. I, I thought he had almost missed a move there for a second, but in fact, that was the move, and, and quite a devastating one. Flash Flanagan keeping an eye on everything here at ringside, as well as, of course, our referee, Joe Wheeler. We've got a great crowd with us tonight here in the Ohio Valley. If you uh, haven't been with us before, we're located at 1121 Mechanic Street in Jeffersonville, Indiana at the Quadrangle. You uh, take I-65 northbound to exit number one. That takes you off on the 10th Street. You go down about uh, four or five blocks. You'll see Mechanic Street on your left-hand side. Make that left, and uh, we're down about two blocks on your left-hand side. You can't miss the building. It's red, white, and blue. Oh, man, what an elbow from the All-American. Again, the building's red, white, and blue. You can't miss it as you come down 1121 Mechanic Street. We are here every Wednesday night at 7 o'clock for our TV taping, and we are here every Sunday at 7 o'clock for our television show. Again, we emphasize that this is the place to be in Louisville and Southern Indiana for a great family atmosphere of professional wrestling. What a, oh, I thought we had it there for a second, the All-American, oh, and a clothesline from the Master of Terror. Send him up for the right end of the turnbuckle, follows him in. 
Oh my goodness! Man, All American uses a. Hold on, sets him up for the right across the ring. No, it's been reversed. Come off of the clothesline, misses it. Could be a DDT. No, goes to the neck breaker. All American, Doug Bassett. The All-American in there with his uh, tag team partner, Flash Flanagan, enjoying the victory here over the Master of Terror. We'd like to uh, remind you all to tune in each and every Saturday night at 1 a.m. It's actually Sunday morning, but we're talking Saturday night to Sunday morning on Fox 41 WDRB-TV. Tell your friends about it. Ohio Valley Championship Wrestling is on the air. And be one of our... Uh, Taping family, the TV taping family, every Wednesday night, 7 o'clock is our bell time for the TV show. Bring your signs, bring the kids. That's the biggest thing for us. We're going to make sure this is a good, clean family atmosphere, and we want you to bring your kids, bring your signs, wear your T-shirts. We have a great time here every Wednesday night for the TV taping, every Sunday night for the show. Also, this is a great place if uh, you're looking for a place to uh, have a great party, or you and your friends want to come here and just uh, try this out for size, you can actually rent Davis Arena. Give us a call here at 280-7039 about renting the arena. Also, uh, if you think that you can be the next professional wrestler, the next new phenom in professional wrestling, then uh, we want you to think about coming to the Ohio Valley Training Center. We'll tell you more about the training center a little bit later on. but. Uh, Give us a call at 280-7039. If you're going to be trained in professional wrestling, you need to be trained by a real professional, and I'm talking about Nightmare Danny Davis. I'll tell you more about that as the show goes on. we got some great tag team wrestling coming your way. Faye Davis, take it away. This tag match is one fall with a 10-minute time limit. Introducing first, from Tulsa, Oklahoma, the international playboy, Dan The most handsome man in wrestling, Jason Lee. And their opponents from Pittsburgh, PA, the Iron Man, Rob Conway. And his tag team partner from Jeffersonville, Indiana, And the Iron Man, Rob Conway, going into the squared circle tag team action against Jason Lee and the international playboy and teenage heartthrob, David C. Robert Briscoe is your referee, calling for the bell. I'm joined here at ringside by the Ohio Valley heavyweight champion, the hustler, Rip Rogers. Uh, hustler, you out here uh, keeping an eye on Dinsmore and Conway, someone that might uh, uh, give you a little bit of a shot for your uh, heavyweight titles down the road. You know, these two clones, these two young, good-looking, well-built young men, they make me sick because everybody in the Ohio Valley Championship Wrestling area, they seem to like Nick Dinsmore. They seem to love Rob Conway, and everybody hates me, the Ohio Valley Heavyweight Champion, and I don't understand it. Well, it might be some of the tactics that you've used from time to time in the ring, Hustler. I mean, I know that you're a great professional wrestler. Man, what a maneuver here from Nick Dinsmore. Both these guys, wow! Wow, now you see why the, the Dinsmore and Conway are fan favorites out here. These two young men are natural athletes. Got David C. up for the right across the ring. Got the arm drag takedown. Puts the uh, international playboy on his rumpus, if you will, in the middle of the squared circle. And Conway, of course, Conway and the Dinsmore have just kind of tag teamed up here in the, in the last month. Uh, Dinsmore used to be tag partners with a man who now you seem to be mentoring, and I'm talking about Juan Utado. And don't you people call him Retardo either. Now you're talking about great moves of Nick Dinsmore. You're talking about athletic ability of Rob Conway. But if they're so great, if they're so good looking, why am I the champion? You see that suplex right there? That was a great suplex. 
but not as good as one that I can do. You see, Rob Conway, you say, oh, he's a bodybuilder. Boy, oh, excuse me for being Mr. Ohio Valley himself. Excuse me for being the champion. Excuse me for being All-State in three sports at the world's greatest high school, Seymour High School. You're talking about Nick Dinsmore being All-State this at Providence High School with his coach, Gene Sartini. I don't care about Providence. I don't care about Gene Sartini. All I care about is me, the Hustle Rip Rogers. All I care about is teaching trailer park trash, the ins and outs of professional wrestling. All I care about is leading Juan Hutardo to victory because we're great, we're good looking, the women all want us, and we're going to be the kings of Ohio Valley Championship Wrestling forever. And you tell these people to shut up and quit yelling for Dinsmore. Well, what about the uh, the new quest that you're on to not only hold the one belt, but to possibly hold two belts here in the Ohio Valley? And I'm talking about the tag team titles. Well, that was a great move by Dinsmore right there, but Dean, you know talent when you see it. Not only am I the world's greatest single wrestler, and because I'm well-built, good-looking, and have over 20 years of experience in this pro wrestling business, I am also an adept, no, great, no, no, I'm the best tag team wrestler in all the world of professional wrestling today, bar, bar no one. Well, now, isn't there any kind of a problem? Because I know that Juan Utado left Dinsmore in a, in a lurch out here one week. Conway had to come out here and save him. Juan, I always thought, kind of got the impression from that event that he was going to be your new tag team partner. Now, all of a sudden, it's trying to park trash. Is there any animosity in the camp? Oh, none whatsoever. What's happened was Nick Dinsmore, he was he was jealous of Juan Hurtado because Nick's girlfriend wanted Juan. And I just told him about it. It's not my fault. What? I'm like a mediator. I'm the trainer of uh, champions. Uh, I'm taking Trailer Park Trash and bringing him on to greatness. I'm taking Juan, don't call me retardo, Hurtado, the Latin lovers that I call him, and I'm showing you... Oh, what a move by Man, David C. what a suplex by David C. Dinsmore on the mat right now, trying to desperately locate to Rob Conway, his partner, which corner is he in? Quite an elbow from David C. He's getting some instructions or passing some information on to Jason Lee, his tag team partner, using the rope, coming off, dropping it, late, nobody's home. Dinsmore's not quite out far enough yet. He's trying to make his way back over to the Iron Man. Up him, David. He makes the tag. Up him, David. He him. makes the tag. Here comes the Iron Man. They didn't see him. There's a big right fist for you. A bodybuilder's right fist. Jason Lee won for you. Well, what did he hit Jason Lee for? He didn't do anything. Well, it might have just been for good measure. Man, what a back drop. Well, he almost threw him to the ceiling. The Iron Man showing his physical capabilities, getting David C. that high up in the air. Here comes the handsome one. Oh, oh he's, that's a close fist. That's a close fist, and that's illegal. They're right across the ring, and a close oh, fist. He almost took his head off. Set him up for the run into the turnbuckle. He falls him in. Oh, there's the boot. Boot salt. Moonsault, Jason! Moonsault! Moonsault, Jason! Rip Rogers giving Jason Lee Oh, man, and what a moonsault! One, two, no, goes just actually one. Briscoe's on top of it. Robert Briscoe keeping an eye on things out here. Setting Conway up for the right. No, it's reversed. There goes Jason Lee. Power slam! Man, what a power slam! He he tagged it. That ain't fair. He That's tagged not fair. That's not fair. Oh, little, oh, look, look at the height. Look at the height. That's it. That's it. Conway take the match again fans I'm uh, I'm assisted here at the desk by the Ohio Valley heavyweight champion I'm talking about the styler and profiler himself the hustler Rip Rogers and I understand that you uh, you're not only uh, you come out here to do all this other talking about all the the Wanu Tados and the trailer park trashes but uh, you seem to think there's some kind of what a conspiracy First of all, there's a conspiracy by Nightmare Danny Davis and the Ohio Valley Championship Wrestling Committee to get rid of me. First of all, Nick Dinsmore and Rob Conway, they beat us 
with a quick cap because he's a cheating referee, that Robert Briscoe. But the word is they beat you, correct? Don't, don't, don't repeat what I okay, say. Okay, all right. And now I'm all wound up because I have to go on TV today and I have to wrestle that 350 pounds of solid muscle Cousin Albert, Otter, and Jebediah. Now, are you concerned that maybe you're not, there's not really a conspiracy as much as maybe you're scared of Cousin Otter? He is a big man. I mean, I know that you work out. I know you used to be a bodybuilder. I've seen you in some great matches. I saw you and Cactus Jack one night almost kill each other in one of the wildest matches I've ever seen. But Cactus Jack is not a 350-pound good old boy from Hawk Holler, Kentucky that just as soon throw a big 350-pound slam on you as look at you. First of all, I think this is unfair. It's a conspiracy. I'm going to lodge a formal protest with my lawyer. I'm hoping I never have to wrestle Nick Densmore and Rob Conway again. I'm going to try and make sure right now that I don't have to wrestle those stupid hillbillies because I hate Otter and I hate Jebediah too. Well, Jebediah and I are, are going to be out here on the TV taping here a little later on, Rip Rogers. Well, he has stormed off here from ringside, ladies and gentlemen, trying to get things back underway. We've got uh, Juan Otato, the man we were talking about a little earlier, and the American Ninjas in the ring. Let's go to our next match. Faye Davis, take it away. This match is one fall with a 10-minute time limit. Introducing first, from Panama City, Panama, Danger Zone, Juan Hutaro! And his opponent from the good old USA, the American Ninja! The American Ninja out here, obviously in the Ninja attire, and Danger Zone Juan Utado. The big man, you hear the uh, Joe Wheeler calling for the bell, we're underway. You hear the fans calling him retardo. That's, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, almost had uh, what I thought was into the match here very quickly. The Ninja is firing up. The, uh, and Juan is worried more about the uh, crowd calling him retardo than he is about the Ninja out here in the squared circle. You know, fans, you may be sitting at home thinking that, uh, well, I could do this. I could be the next phenom in professional wrestling. I could be a, a manager or a valet or, or a referee that, like a good Joe Wheeler here in the ring. We submit to you that you need to be trained by a professional if that's a situation. Don't need me jumping around on your back in your backyard on a set of box springs. You need to be trained by somebody with a real wrestling resume. Wow, what a maneuver by Juan Atado in the ring. The ninja feeling the effects of that. You want a, a resume, ladies and gentlemen? Here's a resume for you. How about one half of the USWA Tag Team Champions? How about the former Canadian Light Heavyweight Champion, the former USWA Light Heavyweight Champion, the Southeastern Heavyweight Champion? I'm talking about none other than 25-year wrestling pro Nightmare Danny Davis. Give us a call here at 280-7039. You too can find yourself right here in the squared circle against the American Ninja Juan Itato. You too can find yourself being the next star in professional wrestling. But you have to make the first move. You have to call that 280-7039 and make your appointment with Nightmare Danny Davis. Man, what a drop kick from the Ninja. Juan Atado out here. Juan used to be Nick Dinsmore's tag team partner and had a fallen out with him one night after uh, he was injured. Juan Atado was injured in the hands of Rip Rogers and Rob Conway uh, kind of became Nick's partner that night. Oh, Full Nelson. This is Juan's patented move. He's caught by a ball of submission. Joe Wheeler trying to get him to break it right now. We have a submission hold giveaway. The winner's going to be Juan Atado. Tato wins the match with a submission hold. We're very disappointed that he didn't uh, break it as quickly as what he should have. Joe Wheeler on him the entire time. Let's hope that the Ninja's okay from that. Uh, listen, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to talk right now to the business owners out there in the Ohio Valley. Looking for a place to get in on the ground floor of a great business opportunity. I'm talking about sponsoring Ohio Valley Championship Wrestling. You see some of the great uh, logos that we have here in the Ohio Valley, especially this fantastic sign here behind my head that was uh, 
was done by Wendell Conger Sign Company just down here on Mechanic Street in Jeffersonville, Indiana. Imagine your business uh, uh, logo or telephone number being seen out here through the entire 30 minutes that, uh, uh, that the wrestling is on. That's a great value to you. This is a great organization for you to be involved in. This is a family uh, business. To give you an idea, we're going to be at St. Teresa's Church this coming March. We're going to let all the fans out there know exactly what day it is as we get a little closer to it. They're having a fundraiser. It's a restoration for the church. They've asked us to be a part of it. That should speak volumes to you about the kind of family atmosphere that Ohio Valley Championship Wrestling truly, truly is. We'd also like to thank uh, Richard Mix from Performance Systems Integration. Richard's come out here and helped us with the lights and all that stuff to get ready for our uh, television program. Also, Paul Falkenstein from... Uh, uh, Tell Sport Productions. We appreciate uh, you, Paul, and all the great, uh, great help that you've uh, given us here in the Ohio Valley. Also, don't forget, every Wednesday night at 7 o'clock is our TV taping. You see a lot of the great uh, signs we have out here. Bring your signs, wear your T-shirts, bring the kids. That's the biggest part of this for us. Also, this coming uh, uh, every Sunday night, 7 o'clock here at Davis Arena, is also our every week show. So don't forget, Wednesday night's the TV taping. Sunday night is our regular show. we got tag team action coming your way. The Hustler and Trailer Park Trash are beating the good old boys from Hawk Holler. Faye Davis, take it away. This tag match is one fall with a 10-minute time limit. Introducing first, the man who hails from everywhere because his house is mobile, Trailer Park Trash. And his tag team from Seymour, Indiana, the Ohio Valley Heavyweight Champion, Rip Rogers! Get it right! And their opponents from Hawk Hollow, Kentucky, Jigger Blackhawk and Cousin Otter! Cousin Otter and Jebediah Blackhawk, buddy, they are beloved by these fans here in the Ohio Valley. And here in tag team action, Robert Briscoe calling for the bell. We are underway. The Hustler, Rip Rogers, you uh, saw and heard the Hustler a little bit earlier here in our broadcast. He's in the square circle against uh, a couple of young men that he is seriously concerned about. I'm talking about Jebediah Blackhawk, who is in the ring right now, and his 350-pound big old cousin from Hawk Holler, Kentucky. I'm talking about Cousin Otter. Of course, Trailer Park Trash in the black and red in the corner of the Hustler, who is already complaining to uh, Robert Briscoe that Jebediah has pulled his hair. Again, don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, every Wednesday night you need to be here with us for the TV taping. Bring your signs, wear your T-shirt, bring the kids. This is a great family atmosphere. You will hear no obscene language. You will see no extreme, and underline the word extreme violence, here in the Ohio Valley Wrestling Association. Briscoe keeping things, uh, keeping an eye on things right now in the ring. And the Hustler reversed his way out of it. Oh, 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 look at that. He made Briscoe run around behind him, suggesting, suggesting that Jebediah had his hair and used the opportunity. Listen to him talking to the crowd. The crowd's trying to tell Briscoe what happened, but, uh, of course, the Hustler is denying it. The Hustler cranking up that arm. Jebediah returns the favor. We've had a lot of people in the Ohio Valley that's asked about the uh, the band that performs our opening music. That is a uh, a local Louisville, Kentucky-based rock and roll band by the name of Millennium. Uh, they uh, they produced that out at uh, Blinding White Studios, and uh, it's a fantastic job. We appreciate all the guys in Millennium. Uh, the Husk Brothers and Mr. Hayden and all the rest of them, a fantastic job. Mr. Nix, of course, got a, uh, oh, look at him, Trailer Park Trash into the hair, right across the ring, man, what, what a, oh, my goodness gracious, Jebediah showing quite a show of strength there. You're not going to win a, a shoulder tackle contest with uh, Jebediah Blackhawk. Oh, and here's somebody you don't want to see coming to the ring if you're Trailer Park Trash. That is Cousin Otter getting ready to lock up. Collar and elbow. 
Look at that smile on honor. He just loves doing this. Those of you that don't know the story, Jebediah came to us as a single wrestler. I've told the story before. He came here originally in a mask because he didn't want to, anyone giving him a hard time about being from the country. And he ended up getting embarrassed out here one night by David C., who you saw earlier in our broadcast. David C. brought out some bib overhauls and it actually kind of uh, brought uh, Black Hawk, who he called himself then, back to reality. Realized that, well, if you're just a good old boy from the country, there's nothing wrong with that. And we'd have to agree. Since then, he's uh, had a little bit of a problem. He had to contact uh, down home, and, and his good old cousin Otter decided that uh, he could fit time in between the tobacco crop and getting the hay in for the season to come up here and help Jebediah. And he's taking a fondness to it, as he likes to say. He says to me in the back, you know, Dean, I'm taking a fondness to this. Cousin Otter, buddy, he is just a good... Look at Rip Rogers, doesn't even know where he is. He almost tagged Jebediah and calling for a timeout. I'm so, oh, I, oh, cranking that arm up. He tagging Jebediah's back in. Briscoe making sure everything's on the up and up. Again, we'd like to thank Wendell Conger of Wendell Conger Signs. Wendell did this fantastic sign that we have here at the uh, at the desk, the red, white, and blue uh, uh, American flag, and the, the eagle is fantastic. Wendell, you are an artist. We appreciate it. Wendell's located here on Mechanic Street as well here at the Quadrangle in Jeffersonville, Indiana. So those of you that need any type of sign work, we would suggest Wendell Conger. Also, again, we'd like to thank our good friend Paul Falkenstein from Telesport Productions for all the work that he's given us here. Jebediah's in dire straits. Oh, my goodness, what a fist from the hustler. And a poke in the eye. See, this is the deal about the hustler Rip Rogers. He has no, oh, look at that, rake in the back. He has no problem whatsoever. Oh, and he's biting him. Look, he's biting him. Oh, man. See, the hustler's got no problem stretching the rules. No problem at all. Look at it goes over and he hits. Look, now he made mention earlier as to why Rob Conway hit Jason Lee in a situation like that. Now he goes over here and does the same thing to Cousin Otter. Briscoe's forced to get Otter out of the ring. Scoop slam. Plants him. Rogers is saying going off the top. That looks like where he's going. Oh, nobody's home. Throw the bark trash. Jebediah makes the tag. Here comes Otter. And here comes the hustler from his side. Scoop slam. Plant him. Scoop slam. Plant him. Scoop slam. Plant him. Cousin Otter's doing some planting. Woo! Jebediah in the ring. Send the hustler for the ride. Double back jack. Man, what a maneuver. Jebediah. They set him up. I oh, know. Oh, look at the trash man. Lands on that posterior that can't be feeling very good from that leg drop that he just missed. The hustler's knocked out of the ring. Choke slam coming up from Jebediah. Look like. That's it. Cousin Otter's going up the top, and I'm telling you what now is coming. The Hawk Holler splash. Man, it's a devastating move. Trash is out of here. All right, Hustle Rip Rogers had to be stopped. Make the count, Briscoe, make the count. Now, Robert has to get everybody out of the ring. Oh, no, Hustle Rip Rogers. Look at this, fans, look at this. Jebediah and Otter had this one. Your winners, Trailer Park Trash and Rip Rogers. Man, oh, man, Trailer Park Trash and Rip Rogers making good on their threat to take care of uh, of Otter and Jebediah, but you saw the way it happened. Cousin Otter had trash beat. If it wasn't for uh, Hustler Rip Rogers, Jebediah and Cousin Otter would have won that. We also saw Doug Basham win a match. Uh, Nick Dinsmore and Rob Conway. Juan Atato was victorious. And, of course, you just saw what happened here. Again, we'd like to thank all of our friends at WDRB Fox 41 for giving us an opportunity to come on the air. All the great fans here in the Ohio Valley, which is the most important things about us. Remember, if you want to sponsor Ohio Valley Championship Wrestling, give us a call at 280-7039. Also, if you'd like to be trained to be the next phenom in professional wrestling, we'd like to submit that Danny Davis is the man to do it. Again, we're located at 1121 Mechanic Street, Jeffersonville, Indiana. From our family to yours, and from the heart of the Ohio Valley, my name's Dean Hill. I'll see you at ringside. <laughs>